So this must now be like the fifth or fourth time that I've put this camera on um, because I'm trying to make a quick video for you guys. Uh, so today, anyway, today I was supposed to uh, be filming a video for you guys like I normally do for, you know, Thursday DIY, but some things have happened in my life that um, have kind of put a little damper on that. I just had my grandmother pass away. Um, she was 91 years old, so she lived a very long life. So I'm kind of dealing with a lot of family stuff, um, you know, even just emotional stuff too that I'm just trying to like keep at bay. <laughs> so um, I'm not gonna be making a video for you guys today uh, because there's just too much going on and it's the time for me to kind of help in any way I can, my family, and um, just kind of prepare for the funeral, which is going to be this weekend, which is another shoot date that I had planned, and that's going to be not there either, because I'm going to be at the funeral and dealing with all that. So I'm, I don't know when the next video is going to come out. I think it's going to be out probably in a week then, which kind of sucks, because I really um, hate missing videos. but. Uh, and it's kind of out of my control a little bit. Uh, as far as uh, me just kind of keeping, uh, if I seem over energetic, that's just because I'm, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like I'm trying to like not cry. I feel like there's moments where I feel like I am going to cry and then I hold it back. Like I was in the supermarket the other day, yesterday. Another day, this just happened, and I just felt like I was gonna like burst into tears in the aisle, and I didn't want that to happen. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's gonna be it's becoming a little more real now that I'm like helping with making a picture board of my my grandmother, and really seeing like all the good times. But I think that kind of helps the mourning process for me a little bit is just thinking about celebrating someone's life rather than, you know, their passing. And especially because my grandmother was pretty, you know, was really just dying of natural causes and she was just withering away for these past few years. So it's been a, a little rough like seeing that, but she was a very strong woman and she, um, you know, was a great um, grandmother and um, I, I sound like I'm, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm losing track. <laughs> um, but, but such a nurturing person, someone that, you know, is very inspirational, really was a strong woman and, uh, you know, made my mom a strong woman and then, which made me a strong man. I want to say woman, but <laughs> I didn't say it. Um, so I think that is what helps me kind of get through grieving process. This is now my last grandmother or grandparent. This is, she's was my last grandparent alive. So she was, she's my last one. I don't have any more. And you know, when you're younger, you don't think about that, you know, so you take for granted. Yeah, so just dealing with that, <laughs> and um, those of you who have reached out to me on social media and saw on my Instagram, um, tons of love and and support. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. All the sympathy that you guys are giving me. Sorry, my mouth's getting dry. Sorry if I sound stuffed up a little bit <laughs> more nasally than I am normally. Um, it's just. Um, totally appreciated by me and my family, so I appreciate you guys. Um, there's nothing more to say other than that. So I'll be back. When I'm back, just make sure that you are, you know, have that alarm button rung and you can know when my next video goes out. And um, again, once again, thank you guys so much for all of your love and um, sympathy. It was very sweet. Made me feel very supported. So, bye.